Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is May the 3rd, 2016. It was on this day in 1911 when a 7.8 struck Russia. More than 450 were killed. Faulting, fractures, and large landslides were observed over an area of 125 miles. This earthquake was so intense that it was felt over 625 miles away. Today is known as Lumpy Rug, National Teachers, and World Press Freedom Day. Unfortunately, I believe the days of a free press are long gone. How about you? All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. If we look at today's data, we'll see that as of 6.41 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in 196 earthquakes. This brings our weekly total to 594. This is roughly 54% less than what we experienced this time last year. A year ago today, we clocked in 417. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 6.0 that hit Papua New Guinea. We have seen less intense earthquakes rattling the globe today. However, they have been experienced in rather interesting locations. The most intense to strike the globe was a 5.6 that struck our comrades in Russia. We followed that up with a 5.2 that struck the Pacific Antarctic Ridge. We've only clocked in six magnitude four earthquakes. This is 33% less than what we typically experience per day. We saw Africa hit with a 4.8, Guatemala with a 4.7, Guam with a 4.5, China with a 4.3, Japan with a 4.1, and Indonesia with a 4.5. In total, we have registered five earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 3 scale, two of which struck Cherokee, Oklahoma. This was a 3.5 and a 3.4. Finally, the Dominican Republic clocked in two magnitude 3.3s. If we look to the states, we see that Hawaii has clocked in only two, both of which hit the volcano, the strongest to strike the Aloha state being a 2.1. Alaska has registered only 35, the strongest being a 2.7 which struck Anchor Point. Interesting. Washington has experienced eight earthquakes today, the average magnitude being a 0.9. The strongest to hit was a 1.6 in Tanner. No swarms have been identified at this point in time. Oregon has registered 8 today, the average magnitude being a 1.4. 7 of the 8 earthquakes struck the Lakeview area, with the strongest being a 1.9. California has clocked in 89. The most intense was a 2.4 that struck San Clemente. Seismic swarms are limited to the usual locations. The Geysers with 16, Mammoth Lakes with 9, Cobb with 7, and Anza with 7 as well. The majority of today's earthquakes in the El Dorado State fell along the San Jacinto and the Coleomi fault zone. Nevada has been mostly quiet with only 25 on the books, the majority of which, 14 in total, struck Hawthorne. The strongest to strike this area and the Sagebrush State was a 2.8. Our pals in Montana have experienced five earthquakes today, the strongest being a 1.2 in Polson. Oklahoma has five on the books as well. Outside of the two earthquakes that struck Cherokee, we have experienced a 2.9 in Langston, Creston with a 2.6, and a 2.2 in Stillwater. Finally, Central America, Care of Mexico, has experienced two earthquakes today, these being a 2.2 and a 2.6. So there you have it, an unusually quiet day that hopefully is not indicative of mounting pressure in normal seismically active locations. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you simply like the chat, please post down below. I'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!